All right, let's adjust a few things. Now this is gonna be interesting though, because I'm gonna also need to look at a few different things right here, but map-wise. Do I have enough room up here? Or do I need to look somewhere else? I mean... Theoretically, I could also do it right there. Yeah, it's just the amount of room to actually build stuff's a little limited right there, but that's an option. <clears throat> and then this is the other option. And then over here, we also have this. But that's also pretty tough. Not a lot of real estate. Yeah, then that's too high. I think we could build here and get it done possibly with this orientation. It's not a hundred percent, but it would do. And then I make this into the LZ. Yeah, that could work. Okay. So this is my building area for Lima then. So I need a picture of Lima here. So there was a living trailer, a latrine, maintenance and communications, operations, generators, and the attack and beacon. All right. That should be easy enough to build. I just have to set that all up. Please tell me I looped it. Oh, why did you stop? You little goober. That was weird. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, sorry, fixing the audio. <coughs> Excuse me. But otherwise with that, Get me the mod. And now I just need to basically put down. Are you, a filmmaker or a Are you fucking kidding me with this stupid loop shit? Play the fucking music, you goober. There we go. All right, let's really. Are you really going to be glitching out on me today? Come on. What if I put you in the lowest quality? God, just tech does not want to work with me today. At all. Oh, this is so disappointing. Whatever, I'll just let that load naturally. So I need... Preferably stuff that's all enterable as well. <clears throat> yeah. All right, a latrine. <coughs> Excuse me. Generators, tacon beacon. I can find stuff that's all enterable as well. That'll be fine. are the same texture just this one has more detail from range so let me look up something real quick what does a tacan beacon look like basically this is just a radio tower thing gotcha <clears throat> gotcha So I just need like a radio tower beacon of some sort. 
Uh, of course, everything in here is going to be like transmitter towers and shit, but you know what? That's fine. I just need something that looks radar-esque. That is on the shorter side. Which, in all honesty, I think that would have to do. Because there isn't really anything else <clears throat> that I can think of. I mean, yeah, that could also do for a signal tower. Light tower would be too big. Tower, no, it's a wooden thing. Old wood fort tower, no. Tower closed, no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me. Communication tower. I'll put one of those up as well for decor's sake. Yeah, we don't have it. That wasn't a full-on radar thing. And then the rest of those are ruins. All right, so now I have to basically make, like, three buildings and have some generators tucked away. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, let me open up chat. Oh, chat's dead. That's cute. make sure it's actually not entirely dead. Well, thanks, Watt. I appreciate it. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my internet right now, but it's making things go really weird. Ah, uh, oh well. But I hope you're all doing A-OK. -okay. I'm going to try to build... Something interesting, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but we'll see. Send in goat team six now. Sheltered Bog, thanks for the resub. I hope you keep enjoying the Thursday Ops. Always a pleasure to play with you on the Tuesday Ops as well, and I hope you get a nice little kick out of this uh, stream. Brother Ironbreaker, welcome. Right now, I'm just trying. There's actually a lot of textures here. I mean, the workshops Sending actually might work. Now. Sapleru. Yeah, these are what I'm looking for. Army huts. Devil Demon, thanks for a 38 month resub. I hope you're doing A-OK -okay as well, and I hope you got a nice little kick out of this scenario. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of creative freedom with this as well. will be for later. Hooches would also not be bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and I want to put one of those up as well. Yeah, all right, so with all of that, let's go ahead and put that aside over here. Uh, let's have it leveled. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna build this positioning. Hey, uh, let's hope you're doing all right as well. What are my thoughts on Armor so, of Forger Zeus? It's all right. We already seen uh, an Achilles mod being made. I'd imagine there's a few other Zeus mods that are gonna be added to it, but again, we're just waiting for everything to fall into place with the modding community, you know? Big titty goth Sherman. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Doing better if your tractor would start? I hear you, brother. 
I had to pull a few times more than I normally have to to get my damn lawnmower to start. That was a pain in the ass today. Ooh, a lithium prescription. Sorry to hear that, Watt. Hope everything's all right. But here, guys, I'm going to tab out a chat real quick. I want to try to get this orientation right of the site. So I have to pretty much pick a direction and stick with it. And then we'll do a little bit of creative freedom after I get the pieces that I want down. So Lima site 85. Let's, let's actually orient it like that. So I need something right here. The latrine's going to be in that corner. So we got that. I can grab the showers. Put them over here as well. A little bit of space from the latrine. And then we've got like a living quarters right here, which I think I'm going to take the lawn... Eh, it's not that long, so maybe this instead. Let's orient this by 45 degrees. It has an entryway in the middle. I'm not really going to be able to do much about that. So we'll have that there. Then there's a little bit of space right here. There's basically a building right here and right here. So I'm going to take a lawn barracks. Is that too long, though? It might be too long, though, because we got this, uh, you know, sit down right here. So if I wanted to use that, I need to pull it down a little more like this. That way this bottom part mostly fits, which I can do that again, a bit of creative freedom because I'm using an area that's not designed for this specific spot. So that'll work. Uh, I need another building like right here, which I'd imagine we can probably use this hooch, for example. because I do want to use the longer buildings at the very least. Actually, no, we don't really need to use that because that doesn't have a lot of furniture inside of it. So we can use the hooch and an army hut instead. That'll make it look a little cleaner. Yeah, the hooch just has a window like that, so we can stack it like this, actually. Again, the one issue I'm having is the orientation here. So let's actually flip this. That way you can get the drop off. And we can have that set up with a little bit of a way right there. And then you have the generators over here. <clears throat> I'm fine with that clipping out in the corner a little bit. But instead, we can move that one over here. And then I can have the radar unit right here. Now, this is going to be interesting because I don't want it to float, so we're going to have to lower this slightly. That should be good. And then the rest of this is going to be, like, just detail. That I'm probably going to have to curve a little bit to fix it properly. I got a water closer and I want to, we have a generator position in the middle. So I can just move this over here instead. I'm going to have to get the grass cutters out just so I can see where's what. I can remove them afterwards based off of how I do missions. I pre-cut the grass, but <clears throat> for the moment, this is just to help me see everything. So again, worst comes to worst, I can either rotate things or I can just lower them like this. And that works. And then this one, though, I'm probably going to rotate slightly. So take that off and then we just do that. Orient you like that. And that should be good. We want to just try to avoid anything that's slightly clipping in the floating or whatnot. And there is something like right over here. So what I will do is uh, grab this, for example. If I could flip that around, for example, like that. Now it is slightly floating, so we're gonna do the same thing. 
lower that slightly and that can give us a nice little storage piece. All right, that's great. From there, we just have to do the landing strip and there'll be a few buildings around there, but I'll use creative freedom in that regard. So that should be good. All right, now back to chat. Lawn, the American dream. Yeah, right. <laughs> But this is basically going to be the PAVN side of Lima Site 85. So I'm going to probably have the PAVN attack come from down here, avoiding the cliff. Um, I might have them fight some irregulars before they get there just to kind of add some life to the operation. Uh, that way it's not going to be a quote-unquote ambush. Because doing an ambush would be a gigantic pain in the butt, but it will be a night fight. So they will have to uh, pretty much uh, use illumination properly and whatnot. So that should be interesting. I'm not planning for a lot of people on Tuesday, so we'll just see how that goes. And I'm going to put a... Again, I'm taking creative freedoms here. I'm going to put a few sentry towers around just to <coughs> see what happens. All right, that should be good. Um, I'll take the water closer in here. Put that right there. I'm also debating like any cover or anything else I want to kind of put around here. What do I got for sandbags? I'll put up a little bit of extra fortification here, but beyond that, not too much. Just to add some uh, positions to do some unique garrison work and whatnot. Shouldn't be too hard. Started the 1020 twice, no issue. Drove it around a bit, left out in the yard, went and mowed, got done. Ah. Yeah, Machine Spirit uh, did not like that, I guess. I guess give it uh, a. <laughs> pray to it a little harder. Maybe. Uh, also pray to the Omnisai a bit. You know how it goes. Also trying to think. I don't want to do any trench work, but... Let's go ahead. Just again, some minor fortification stuff. Nothing too, too hard. Hi, boo. What'd you say? <laughs> How did I get here? Thank you. What pot did you want me to plant it in? You didn't specify. You didn't fucking specify, woman. If you want it planted in the right pot, you should have either told me which one or planted it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, like before the vacation, right? Do you think I'm going to fucking remember, woman? All right, so one of the things I did, um, after we did the cooking stream, I did a bunch of errands. I mowed the lawn, which, you know, you don't just mow it. You then have to trim it, and then you have to blow everything away so it looks nice and orderly. Yeah, I always use the blower. Yeah, and I trim it with the frickin' trimmer, too. You didn't know that, did you? Huh? What are you... No, that's just how you're supposed to do it, woman. But I digress. Uh, and then I planted a few things, such as the little sage plant I showed on stream. Planted some peas. And then she wanted me to move something to a bigger pot. So I moved it to a bigger pot. And she's now mad at me because I didn't move it to the right one. You should have said something then. When did you say it? Yeah, yeah. When? Today. You did not say it was the one upstairs today. You told me to read. No, you did not say it today. You might have said it before the vacation because I forgot here are your car keys. Because I needed no 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 just 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 I, take them. The, the the okay, I then you can. I... What is your deal? What's your deal, woman? I replanted it. You told me. Stop it. Don't talk about that. Re. I also got a massive sunburn. So. Shut up. 
My body is... What do you mean your dragon fruit vitamin waters? We used my credit card. Wait, you did? Why did you? I have a card specifically for groceries. So you don't do shit like that where you're like, I bought it with my card. It's mine now. You know what? I'm going to go drink another one. And you can't stop me. Uh, uh, you are, okay, that's my nose. You're licking my nose. You are literally deep throating my nose. I don't know why you did that. I hope that tasted good. Mm -hmm. Was a little weird, honey. Gonna be honest, that was, was pretty weird. I got these disgusting looking foxholes. I'm gonna use them. Yep, those look disgusting. Let's use them. What did you join into? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to put um, a tent in the middle of all of this. I just can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a certain type of... Uh, it's an open top tent. Yeah. Can I get the one with the sandbag around it? <coughs> oh, perfect. All right. So that's going to be our site right there. Put a few more foxholes around it because I find foxholes to be cool. And now we need a path to our quote-unquote runway, which... I don't know. I'm really thinking of doing it just like this. All the way to this. You know what I mean? So if I were to get something, it would look like this, essentially. I know it's supposed to be further away, but this is the best I can do. And then, you know, quote-unquote making a runway is also a little difficult. Oh, right, and then you switch the other one to locally, otherwise it might not disappear for some people, and then it looks really weird. There we go. Hi, Boo, I love you. Well, apparently I can't find the pot you want me to use, but, you know. I mean... I hope it's me. Where did I find what? I found it while I was looking for other shit for... I don't fucking know. Honey, like, just stuff will magically appear and disappear in this house. Alright? I've given up on trying to figure out why that's the case. It just happens. It just works that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And go wash the swimsuits. Okay. Yep, that is last year's uh, Kerala band. I'm funny. Okay. Uh, Lima Site 85, or at least just an artistic interpretation. Uh, Vietnam. Okay, this is this is where you take out your phone, you pull up Google, and you look up Lima, L-I-M-A, and then Site, S-I-T-E, and her tits are out. Okay. Your boobs were itchy. Okay. I I would hope they're not always itchy. Then you, I would say you need to go see a doctor for that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Sure. Oh my gosh. Yes, you can... God, I love back rubs. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you appreciating me more. 
Uh, no, we're not doing this stupid loop. No, I just brought that down because I was thirsty. Thank you. Can I get more later out of the stream? Yay. Yes. I know, because I still had work to do. Sorry, boo. Tree snipers weren't really an American thing. Not to my knowledge, like, a, um, ARVN, yes, but, well, there were some, and eh, it's, 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 it's difficult to say. Alright, I'm gonna do a few workshops here. Just because they're nice, small buildings to work with. And then a control tower, maybe something stacked up here. I just don't know where I'm going to put it, you know? Yeah, we can do it right here, actually. And then do I have enough room for like a hainer right here? Let me see. Or a helipad would also do. So, you know, like a fuel bladder right there on the side. Oh, okay, that's massive. Um, maybe not. Send in goat team six. Potentially now. Or something like that as well. What madness are you making and who is going to suffer? Amateur Dragon, thanks for the 17 month resub. I know I always butcher your name, I'm sorry, but I hope you keep doing the operations and I hope you get a nice kick out of this dev stream. This <coughs> is uh, gonna be for Tuesday for TSB with their Vietnam mod set. And it is going to be the battle for Lima Site 85. They're going to be the uh, PAVN commandos that stormed the site and uh, did a lot of uh, did a lot of stuff. I guess in retrospect, because I'm an American, I would say it's a lot of bad stuff. But you know, it's war, war's hell. Yadi da. Make a little guard shack right here. And this is where the thing would be. I'm going to put a plane down. It would be like a simple scout plane. Yeah, we can put a quad mount somewhere as well. God damn it, where are the, uh, there we go. Uh, we don't want Navy, we want USAF. It's not gonna be a Sky Raider, I'm just looking for. Nah, there's a specific plane I'm looking for here. A Bronco would work, technically. You know, just looking for, like, a simple scout plane of some sort. I know there's uh, other planes that could work as well. But the Bronco could work. It's just meant to be, like, you know, a minor uh, scout plane. Some sort right there. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Send in goat team six now. I why how goes it, Leru? I missed the crepe stream, but here we are. That's okay. We're gonna be doing a cook sh cooking stream every Sunday at six. I just don't know what we'll do next. I'll probably let the viewers vote on it. Hi, Boo. I I do love you. Yes. So you do have somebody to love. I'm glad it does, Boo. Thank you. Okay. Could you uh could you bring me a cold one? Uh there should be. I would appreciate Send it. Goat team six now. Nightstorm, thank you for the sixteen month resub as well. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. Um what was What were they? They were CIA. What would be the best representation of like, you know, infantry working with the CIA? Cuz it's not Mac V Sog. Oh, baby. Do you have a bottle opener? Where? Okay. I hate to be an ass, but can you hand it to me? Okay, boo. Thank you. I'm just going to use LLRP. I mean, I, I just like the look. I like the look. It's fitting... We can also technically use Camp Strike Force, but I think the camo is completely wrong, at least with LR. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have someone probably bitch at me for the unit choice, but I'm lazy. I'm sorry to say I'm, I'm lazy. <clears throat> yeah, and they have the radio equipment, too, because most of them were technicians, so that, that all works out. Uh, crepes were good. Bloodwing, baby, how are the crepes? She says they were delicious. She says uh, that she loves it when I make her crepes as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, no, it was uh, ham and cheese, uh, specifically a Virginia ham and Gruyere. And then I made her a uh, chocolate crepe with uh, a pickled peach uh, garnish. Excuse me, ganache. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, so a lot of them were caught napping in the ambush, so I'm going to try to orchestrate that and then the rest are going to be ARVN so let's go ahead group all that together and then the rest we'll use as uh, ARVN guys special state nope AI trades thanks but yeah, while I was at the wedding, I got like three or four cases of Magner Cider, which is an Irish one. Got a big crate of it, which had four cases, and that's uh, about 24 bottles. Ah, oh, this shit's delicious. Thank you, boo. It does, yeah. No, it, you... I know, you did a good job building that, boo. She's talking about a gift she made for me, which was a, a fallout container that you can put bottle caps in and see the bottle caps as they slowly come up. I have a picture of it somewhere. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but no, she did a great job with that. You are, boo. 
and I am very appreciative of everything you do for me. What? Thank you, Boo. Thank you, Boo. I love you. I'm sorry that your stomach hurts, honey. <coughs> uh, no, leave that over there. Yeah, leave that all over there. Thank you. Yes, it's upstairs planted on the balcony. Bye, Boo. I love you. Uh, with the pickled peaches, to basically describe them, it was like eating a peach that had heavily softened, uh, practically melted in your mouth. Uh, and then you got the flavor of the wildflower honey that I um, marinated in, for lack of a better term, I guess pickled would be <laughs> the proper term there. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is the marksman a medic symbol? Oh, well. It's a medical marksman. I'm going to have to crouch these guys specifically, but that should be fine. Um, and then you also had an aftertaste of the almonds because they sat in there with them as well. So it was it was pretty good. Overall, it was, it was pretty damn good. All right. So I am also beefing up the defenses a little bit, you know, because it is still going to be an arma op, and we're still going to have, you know, a decent amount of people show up. So I got to layer it accordingly. Um, do that one. I like the hanging flag a bit better, boo. Oh, okay, then do the other one. Well, if you react that way, then you obviously want the other one. So do the other one. Sure. Go ahead. I will now proceed to rant about women. You see, women are interesting creatures. Let me explain. When they ask you, hey, which one do you think is better? This one or this one? And you give your honest-to-God opinion, and they go, aww. It means they wanted you to pick the one that they were thinking was the better one, but they wanted you to agree with them. So as soon as they do that, just immediately backpedal and say, oh, no, you like that one. Now, if you're unlucky enough to get a woman that then gets mad at you for doing that, you should bring up the hypocrisy of why they're asking you to, uh, you know, pick in the first place if they've already made up their mind. In which case, you're probably about to be in the doghouse for a little while because they're going to get mad at you for bringing that up. But you know what? At least you have your integrity. I know, but I'm saying you used to. You definitely fucking used to. Don't hate me for speaking the truth, woman. It's called being a Sundra. Yeah, I guess. That's for me to know and for you to find out. I don't fucking know. You tell me. You got me dragging down on three, two, one. Don't even joke about that, because it will happen. All women do is eat McNuggets, take naps, and go psycho at you. Just gotta pick one day and say, fuck it, you'll do. Man speaking facts over here. All right, so I'm just basically doing some garrisoning. Then I need to reread the article. I think it was <coughs> Teams of Seven, but I'll check again. Uh, 
I need to do more U.S. defense forces here. And then the rest will be ARVN. Technically, it doesn't really matter the faction. They can, uh, you know, either I'll be blue for or green for, but, you know, it works out. Uh. Yes, Boo. I, I do not want to turn this into a how to date women stream because how I ended up with you, I'm going to be honest, was kind of creepy because I practically begged you and kind of stalked you. And I don't think that's a good thing to recommend for people. I know I'm not Ron. There's no but there. This was, this, rela this was either going to end in either I got you in a relationship or in a restraining order, okay? I'm lucky. <coughs> Instead of file the restraining order. So, yeah. That's how you have to get women these days. You have to either be really lucky or get the restraining order. <laughs> Which is a spot on your permanent record. <laughs> Pull the Monza. Oh my god. Ladies. Good god. You know, I just realized I think I might need to redo some of this simply because I don't think not all of them are set to standing. Excuse me. I said bye to it a while ago. Hey, Vagrant, my man. I thought I saw you playing StarCraft 2. Am I right? I might be wrong. But I hope everything's going okay with you. Um, I hope you saw what I wrote down in the plot discussion. Hope that helps out. And if you have any other uh, things you want to bounce off of me, feel free to message me. And uh, if you're free sometime later this week, let's uh, let's rock and stone, buddy. By all means, rock and stone. You saw? Good. Going to be a busy week? Nah, I feel you, man. If you're too busy, I completely understand. I'm in the same freaking boat. <laughs> Oh, it's hellish. But so, I'm trying to try uh, tonight well, yeah. to get almost every mission file I need done. And then we'll go from there. But with you, I know you've got your own shit going on. Let me know if you need any help with anything, man. All right. So with all that set, let's go back to this guy, set everything to sand, and then go back to the dudes in the foxholes and then reset them. And then I need to relook at... The uh, report of the PAVN and how they were divided, and then remake the uh, the special forces platoon that was sent up here. Whew. Rock and stone. Trying to take like six people through D3 on GTFO. I need to look into GTFO, in all honesty. It's just I'm so busy with mission making. People always ask me, like, hey, can you look into XYZ? And I'm like, dude, I wish I could, but. You know, when you're so an idiot that decides to design, shot. like, you know, six to ten mission files a week, each one of those takes every, anywhere from, like, one to three hours to make, usually, like, two Send to four. Go team six. It gets no. very messy. We. Oui. <laughs> very, very messy. But anyway, for those of you just jumping in, we're uh, so developing well a going. play off of uh, the Battle of Lima Site 85, which was an American loss to PAVN Special Forces. So if you want to look it up, we uh, basically built the radar site and we just built the runway. Now I'm going to build the PAVN commando kits and then, uh, you know, touch this up with uh, settings and whatnot, do a little bit of testing, make sure I get everything right. So that's going to be quite fun. But 
I am now going to look at my phone and uh, try to look up real quick what the um, PAVN group was of uh, Commando Forces that cleared everything out so I know what to build the kits off of. Oh, okay. Now that so, um, I was uploading the GoPro footage to a cloud service that I can then download in the 1080p from the uh, Crepe Stream. Um, again, for all the people that raided, uh, I've decided to do weekly cooking videos now. So I showed my hardcore fans how I make crepes, and we made uh, Bloodwing a few things for dinner, which was quite nice. I'm not feeding you to keep you fat, honey. Honey, the calorie count of those two crepes was below 700 for dinner. That's great, okay? I'm actually trying to help you lose weight. I'm not keeping you fat and complacent. Fat and breedable. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna strangle that woman, and then I'm gonna tie her up and do things that I can't stream on Twitch, but I can stream on other websites. It's decided. Platoon numbered 33 soldiers and were reinforced by a nine-man sapper squad and a communications and cryptography squad. So, yeah, it's, it's sealed up. Yes, I will. Honey, please, I'm working. Okay, thank you, boo. So 33 soldiers. How do I divide 33 soldiers? I guess three squads of 11? Because there's no other way. I Maybe five squads of six and one command squad of three could also work. Gonna be through the ages, kind of. Ah, I get you, Vagrant. In that case, we're gonna need a lot more mods then, if it's through the ages. Um, and then you might want to get custom on the technology, but it's up to you. Devour, I say go for it. Uh, I've got way too much shit for me to do to tap into that. I might be able to do it later, but. Yeah, three squads of 10 plus a command team of three might also be our best bet. It's a Tuesday op slot, so I don't know if I'm going to have 20 people show up or 50 people show up. That's the really difficult thing about it. I'm going to shoot for 30 and then include the nine-man demo team. All right, so if we're going to build a command squad here... I'm going to build it off of CSAT kits because I never trust anything, even CDLCs, <coughs> for uh, re-scripting units. So what am I going to need? Rifleman. We can turn that off. Rifleman AT for an RPG. Do I have auto rifle or it just sets a heavy gunner? All right, auto rifleman. Uh, squad leader, team leader... I could do two teams of four. Nah, PAVN would be like two teams of five divided down uh, if they were quote-unquote special forces. So squad leader, team leader. And yes, they all look modern. I'm going to make them naked in a second. Don't you worry. Uh, I guess one sapper per the group would be good. And then... I think that's it. I'm just trying. I'm looking through this list real quick. Maybe a marksman? Yeah, but so these guys, I'm in the commando forces. They're going to get, like, you know, the best of the best. So, uh, no radios, though. I'm an asshole. No radios. So, make that empty. No GPS. So, we'll set that to empty. Maps, yes. Set it to the PAVN version. No binos, I'm only going to give leadership that. No night vision, duh. And then we strip everything else here. So I'm just making them naked for now, then I'm going to look at some actual units, and then 
divide everything based off of that. Let's go ahead, look under PAVN right now. We can base it off of Dakon Commandos. Because it definitely wasn't Marines in Laos, that's for fucking sure. Yeah, alright, so... I'm just going to put a few of these guys down just so I can look at the weaponry they had. So it was Type 56 is definitely SKSs with marksman sights. I'm not giving them shotguns. They will fucking hate me if I do that. <coughs> PPSHs. All right. I mean, theoretically, I could just do this. And then rebuild them from scratch. Yeah, it's going to be a bit more painful, but otherwise I'm just looking for a bunch of other stuff. So, I guess technically what I could then do is this. Just so I can build a base kit. Let's get rid of the field telephone. And then clear out this to give the basic medical. And then... Actually, yeah, all suppressed PMs wouldn't be a bad choice for quote-unquote commando forces. Yeah, no, I'll stick with that. Uh, PMs with flashlights actually would be better because it is a night uh, night attack. So that should be good. I will have to give leadership, like, flare guns and shit, though. But yeah, yeah, that could work. Because, again, this was a, technically a night fight. All right, so back to bandages. Let's do 15 per. I didn't put a medic down. We have enough room for medics, though. Uh, one cable tie. We'll do two, actually, for them to capture people. Earplugs. No e-tool, because they're on the offensive here. <clears throat> I'm debating, though. Nah, we'll do an e-tool, because that also lets them dig spider holes, and I can have them basically hold out against ARVN counterattacks. Uh, to extend the time of this op, because it's only going to be like a 90-minute op, to be honest, based off of everything here. Two morphine, two tourniquets. So two epis, just based off of uh, medical. Uh, actually, no, the, <coughs> the flashlight they'll have. Well, not all of them will get flashlights, though. But they have a flashlight tied to the second. I'll just give them a Fulton just in case. Because you never know. Sometimes it doesn't overlap properly with the A settings. I don't want people to bitch at me about they can't read their maps because it's nighttime. Better safe than sorry in that regard. That gives me another 15 bandages. Is there like a grenade? We do a 67, a V40. I can also use handheld flares. <coughs> I guess I could do a, a white one. Yeah, I'll do a single white one just to help them all out there. And then that gives us this base kit to work with. So now let's go ahead and go on their vest here. Perfect. And then we can go offensive with basically just random grenades. And then he's got this backpack here. Basically double his ammo, some molotovs, some cheek combs, and a few more illumination pieces. Again, I'm making all this custom, so. Some smokes, too. Which, if that's the case, let's use the uh, actual hostile smokes there. Yeah, it should be good. All right, so I do need a medic kit. So let me go back into CSAT. Combat laser. 
And then set that up. Okay, so now... Make that go away. Marksman's good. Explosive specialist. Which guy? Sapper. Alright, so he's got a PPSH 43. I could give him a... Nah, we'll do the 43. So, I mean, he's got grenades for days. Right there. So help me remember this, chat. So he's got... Dakon Uniform 1 Black... He's got a black bandana. He's got the sapper vest. And he has the sapper backpack with the PPS. Am I... Is that a hidden item on the arsenal? Yeah, because otherwise it just looks the same. It's fine. He's got the black one on, and he's got a black bandana on, so. <coughs> there we go. All right, and then he's got the uh, PPS 41, so PP. Uh, no, it's a 43, because that's the PPS H41, so we're doing that. That leaves everything on there. And then the rest will be, like, backpacked here, so. Some secondary ammo. I need nine of those grenades. Because, of course, I do. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. It's a freaking wooden board. Bless you, boo. With grenades. That's funny. Yeah, I'm not going to give them map tools for this one. Because I know that they probably won't work with this map. Plus, you don't really need map tools for this. So, Oh, Leary, you dirty dog. You, what did I do? Custom tech going to be important, but you're still not right out, Vagrant. If you need any help brainstorming, let me know. I've done a few campaigns like uh, what you're doing in the past. It's been a hot second, but I do remember them somewhat, so... Definitely wouldn't mind helping. So some satchel charges for the tower to blow stuff up. I just have to remember what item to actually destroy the uh, <clears throat> use the satchels with. So I might just make them use a timer. Because that should come with it by default. But we'll check. Or we could do dead man switches. Oh. Dead man switches are fun. I'm going to do a dead man switch. Just, just because. <laughs> just because. You know, I'm going to give him an AT grenade. Because I'm crazy. And I want to see what he does with it. <coughs> Alright. Now we have an auto rifleman. Who pretty much gets an RPD. Alright, so pith helmet. No, it's a boonie hat. Interesting. <coughs> Alright, so boonie hat. Uniform 2, black. NVAMG. NVA6 RPD. I'm pretty sure that's a hidden thing. Alright, NVA green. He had black uniform 2. He had NVAMG. And he had NVA RPD, which hides him. 
Like, it, it takes away his little thing there. So, yeah, that's custom scripted. Interesting. Oh, well. Uh, you know, Trooper, I think I am going to make this one a one life. It's going to be brutal. But all it'll either be a one life or a two life. Why does he have no inventory space for it? See, he has a shit ton of weight, but no inventory space. So I don't know. I'm just going to give him a recon backpack then. Interesting. <clears throat> so full on RPD. <coughs> Excuse me. Two Molotovs, two Chicoms, some smoke, some hand flares. And then his vest actually has some of those uh, 42s. So we'll do four of those, but I, we'll do two. I want to keep them under 40 kilograms. It's because otherwise they get super heavy. All right, AT, so this is going to be a Type 51. What do you have on you, my friend? So you got a Type 56. You have a B41. Green uniform. Another green boonie hat. Assault. And NVA Pack 3. Oh, I swear to God, these hidden items. Yeah, it only comes up with pack one and two. And then pack six SKS, which is the one that he had. So there are totally hidden items in this mod's arsenal. But this guy's the RPG gunner, right? So we can give him the RPG. That makes sense, right? So 41... Type 56, this guy. Uh, he had a green uniform. He had the green NVA boonie hat. And he had the assault vest. Cool. All right, that's all set proper. Let's go ahead and delete what's in there. Crap. All right, VN is the uh, variable name you're looking to, or so you see VN underscore. So we're gonna do that for his ammunition. Four RPGs, three magazines. Oh my god, you're overweight. Uh, I'm going to lower that slightly. We'll lower that to a second pistol mag. That up to five. Again, I like to keep him under 40. He's got those two RP, uh, RG42 grenades. So we'll put those there. Think carefully about suicide bombs. Look, if that's how the players want to go, I mean, that's how they'll go if they really want to. I used to be really defensive about what the player base did. Now I genuinely don't care. All right, standard rifleman. <coughs> oh, this is where it gets fun because I've got like three different riflemen I can make. So you got that, you got that. You can also have that, but I'm going to make the Rifleman last simply because I only make Rifleman at the very end. And then do I have a, I have an officer, but I'm going to give them the uh, radio and then I need like a team leader. <coughs> Which if I can't find them, I'll just do, uh, 
a special Send roll. Send in goat team six now. Or just like a rifleman. Hmm. Or I could just not have a team leader. <laughs> oh, they're going to hate me. I'm not going to do a team leader then. Oh, they're going to hate me. And we got the medic kit. All right. I mean, what do we got here? So we got four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then four riflemen. That should be fine. I could do an RTO. Offload that to the to another guy. Oh, they're not going to like it. But it'll be funny. Yeah, so I'll make that the team leader then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we'll make that the team leader. And then I'll just rename it to RTO. Perceptive comment. Thanks for a 30 month resub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Is there a lighter weapon I could give him? I could technically give him a PPSH, but the weight isn't going to be that much of a difference. So, you know, work with what you got. All right, type 56 with the foldable bayonet. He's got a PM. I'm going to give the RTO the flare gun. So we have a pith helmet, tan vest, an officer, and an NVA pack seven, which doesn't exist because <coughs> it's hidden. Brilliant. Okay. So... Say they stole some binos. I need the pith helmet. NBA assault. Uh, tan uniform. Officer. Yeah, he's got the little case right there. That's a binoculars case. And then NBA assault, which. Yeah. We're just going to do a generic NBA assault here with uh, the fancy shit. So we'll do NBA recon. Yes, boo. Uh, no, you can shred him. Thank you, boo. All right. So if that's the case, let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, he still has his SKS. So let's switch that to a 56. You can just type type. Makes less guns appear, but, you know, we know which one we want. <coughs> Let's do eight and four there. Let's do two of those. Two of those tracers. We got two side RGD stick grenades. Want some Molotovs, because Molotovs also serve as temporary illumination, because they're pretty. Uh, that and that. Some cheek comes as well, because why not? I'm debating what else to give them, if anything. Uh, 34 pounds. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that should be good. Stolen U.S. compass. Fuck it. Actually, no. I think it's going to be important to give everyone a default compass here. Let me make sure that's actually set for everyone. Yeah, let's backpedal that. Simply because that's one of those features where, you know, the player base, if you take that away from them, that you give them a compass that they don't know how to call out proper bearings for, uh, they do bitch. So I will switch that out. All right, so that's done. Now we have the medic. Medic has a PPS 43. Green uniform, medic sash, and then a specific backpack key to him, but yeah. And it looks like a green. Was it a bandana? <coughs> yeah, I think the green one right there. 
Uh, green uniform. Medic tie down right there. Go to NBA right here. Yeah, I don't see anything specifically for the medic, so we'll just do recon again. And then... PPS 43, and then I'll make sure this guy also has his medical perm. Let's go to the compass, get that switched out. Now this is where it gets a little light. He's got two smoke grenades right there. I will reflect that. I don't see any grenades otherwise, because this guy's going to be like practically filled with medical. Do you plan to have Lima Site 85 as a U.S. victory or withdraw? Uh, I have it as they're going to get completely wiped because the player base is playing as the PAVN uh, commandos. So, just making an op out of something, you know? Okay. Uh, MCO missions are going to start up soon. I have to make an announcement tonight or tomorrow uh, regarding that because uh, I have to. That's actually coming up. I have the date set. I just have to make the proper announcements. Okay, and then I'll give this guy a few combat grenades. Yeah, it should be fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, big boss, but the main fighting was done by only a small commando group of, like, 33 plus 9 plus an unknown number. Uh, but it was small scale. The rest were just stationed around as blocking forces. Hi, boo. Alright, this is where it gets fun. So, Pith Helmet, Tan... He has a medic VC slash probably because of the shotgun thing, so I'm going to have to find something else. And then he's got NVA T884 radio. All right. So helmet's right. Switch that to tan. <coughs> I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll also give him an officer. Yeah, we'll just do an officer thing there. Because uh, I don't mind giving him binos. Uh, I'm going to do a PPS for him, because that's the lighter weapon. And then... What was it? 884? Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of inventory room, so the thing's going to be lighter. Plus, he's going to have the flare gun. Yeah, it's like an FN, good god. Probably the predecessor. They don't have flare guns, they only have flare launchers, don't they? Hmm. Which means I can do this. I just have to do the flare launcher. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, oh man, this guy's gonna be... Hefty. Yeah, so nine of those. I'm going to have to do the side Shecom grenades. Oh, he is not going to have a lot of room. And I want to at least do the RGDs. Because I always like to give everyone smoke. And then the rest of these are going to be... Okay, 22 actually isn't too, too bad. He's just low on ammo, but he can share from other people, so that should be fine. And then I gave him binos. All right, yep, 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 yep. I'm not doing a shotgun. I'm sorry. All right, so building this... Squad leader... RTO. Let me rename him. That was an E, you goober. 
Uh, I'll rename him to Medic. I just want this set to... Yeah, regular Medic's fine. Did I give you a personal aid kit? Because I know for a fact my player base will riot if I don't give them packs because they're just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, riot. <clears throat> Good spot there. Otherwise, AT Rifleman, Auto Rifleman, Sapper Marksman, Medic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to have three riflemen. So let's get that lined up real quick. Don't you love kit building? It's so therapeutic. That, that, and that. So in all honesty, these are, like this one is pretty similar to that one back there. Uh, I just need a different vest. He's wearing an American one, actually. Interesting. Yeah, we're doing a salt vest. I mean, eh, but, you know, it's fine. Ah, screw it. We'll do the sapper vest. He gets a shit ton of grenades. Grenade time, baby. Air America, yeah. Well, I'm using um, ARVN to cut the slack for Laos and Thai troops. Because otherwise, I'm going to be spending all this time doing all this extra research, and they're still going to look the same anyway. So, am I lazy? Yes. Do I have, like, four other missions I need to build for this week? Also, yes. I've already spent over an hour making this one. <laughs> I'm probably going to spend another hour finishing it, so. What can you do? Uh, let's see. I don't have any F1s. We'll put some F1s in there. I gave him Molotovs. I need smoke grenades. Hey, honey. I love your ass. <laughs> she just spanked it. <coughs> All right. Yeah, it should be good. And then, yeah, uh... The RTO. Did I give you the right compass here? I don't care about the watch. I do care about that. Uh, and then the medic was next. Yeah. All right. I got them all set. Um, real quick, let me just make sure. Yeah. So let me just apply that to him as well, just to be safe. Cool. Alright, so that's one rifleman kit made, minus there is a different. What are you wearing? Uniform 2. What's that on his back? <coughs> what is this? Is that part of his backpack? No, so what? Is that part of his face wear? Oh, yep, yeah, poncho camo. Face wear gets, it doesn't override, so I can't control that, so. Big sad. Alright, rifleman. Alright, 
I'm just gonna fucking randomize it. So, type 56. He gets the handgun. Thank you, boo. Ow. Why are you pretending to shoot me? With your love bullets. Okay. Uh, I think. I, I already loved you. Yep. I'm sorry. I, I guess it did. You get a kiss. Yep. So I just gotta go out and do something else, boo. I got something you can do. Send oh, in she didn't goat like that answer. Six now. LCPL goat. And then I can give him extra RPD ammo. Yep. <coughs> the carry for the uh, machine gunner. And then I can copy this to the other kit. And then I'm going to give you a bandana. Why? Because I don't like you. Bandana. Yes. And then you're going to get a black uniform. Perfect. All right. That's your 10-man squad. Do I want to build the sapper squad? Honestly, no. I, I'm too lazy. I'm sorry. So this is your 10-man squad. Let me just math check real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent. Why not? Thanks for the formula on 3-sub as well. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. So next team will just be this. And that is the uh, command team. So I'm going to mark this guy. Uh, in TSB Doctrine, we usually have a platoon medic that is set as the uh, doctor setting for the medic. <coughs> Just to set everything proper. I don't think there's going to be more than four. I mean, I'll, I'll make it up to like 50, but I doubt it. I just don't feel like doing the Sapper team. All right, Charlie. Delta Echo. And then I need this guy. That's the player slot. Those are all marked as player. And we'll make the spawn point right here. That's a good staging point. It gives us a nice border. Uh, let's see. And then I need a few for earning fireplaces up here as well. Just for illumination's sake. Then these can mark the beginning and end of the runway. Easy. Okay, checklist time. Uh. <coughs> 
Alright. Game Master Module. Go ahead and get that number. Through the lists here, green four, friendly with blue four, hostile to op four, uh, title, is it site Lima 85 or Lima site 85? Lima site 85, all right, I think I got that right, yep. Uh, multiplayer, custom position, set that to 10 seconds because some people with laggy connections bypass 5 seconds, which is really funny to them watch them spawn and debug. Save loadout, enable dynamic. That box is checked, that box is checked. You'd be surprised how many times I missed checking that box. Um... Let's just import them. Makes it easier. So, how you import, you just tab out, go into <coughs> TSB's Discord. There's a channel that contains all of the A settings as backups. We're going to be doing basic for this one, not advanced. Copy all this paste data. Import. Boom. All right, and then I'm going to look through it myself and see if there's anything custom I want to change. Don't you know? I might. I might not want. We'll see. Advanced ballistics, yes. Fatigue, yeah, that's fine. Sway factor, I'm going to put down to six because it's a lot of mountainous terrain and uh, it's easier for people to shift around. Casings, let's check those off. Um, I'm going to set this to 150, just to make it a little less framey. Uh, throwing, yeah, it's all set client side now. Vehicle damage. It's fine. <coughs> I'm going to go down to fire. I disable, fu well, we're not going to have any vehicle effects. Eh, fire should be fine. Fortify is fine, because we're not going to be doing anything fortifying. Goggles... It's fine. Grenades. Hearing is fine. Map tools doesn't matter because I'm not giving them any. Medical. I'm going to set this up to 8. AI critical is fine. I set it up to 8 because there's limited body armor. I'll set it up to 9. Always and never. That otherwise is all set fine. Overheating, this is where it gets fun. Uh, I'm going to set this to 0 0.50. Actually, no. We're going to do that. And then where are the machine gunners? I'm going to give them a water bottle. Yeah, we have room, and they've got... They, they've been put them slightly over. It's fine. Where is water bottle? Cool. That way they can cool down their weapons. You okay? What? Oh, I'm sorry. She got attacked by onions. set. View restrictions is fine. Zeus is fine. I fucking hate lambs, but I struggle with it every day. <coughs> Where's, um, the, uh, inter yeah, yeah, fuck that. I don't know what, whoever put that back on in the settings, they can go fuck themselves because that is so annoying. That's the random clicking you hear when you're, like, in a building and people are using their radios that random, like, <coughs> it's so fucking annoying. I hate that. Honest to God, hate that. Because it makes you feel like your headset's dying or something, but... Whatever. 
That is the type of change I will not announce. People get pissy when I don't announce specific changes. I'm like, dude, I'm making your life better. Shut up. Oh, and this is a full moon. So, yeah, illumination won't even be too, too much of an issue. Uh, it's just if it gets super, super dark. But, yeah, I think this will be fine. I've never saved this. Wow, that's kind of awkward. If my computer crashed and I was like halfway through this, I would not have had a backup and I would have wasted like an hour and a half of my life. That's funny. Overheating would be a bitch with certain weapons. Yeah, if they're going crazy with the RVD. I'm at least going to be nice, but yeah, it, it happens. All right, so last thing I'll have is testing and any basic mechanics I want to put in. I think I want to go put um, a medical box in two specific places, but beyond that, we should be fine. <coughs> All right. And then if I type advanced, boom, I can get what I'm looking for question becomes where do I want to put it so we'll put one there and I'll put one here and then you know ammunition and shit will just be stuff they have to loot I could also uh fuck's sake it's gonna take me a second to find what I specifically want here You gotta be careful with this shit though because <coughs> it will destroy the tent so what you normally do when you store something in a tent is you just make sure it's set to invincible so uh, disable damage and then this we can do control shift i didn't have anything selected what the fuck are you just a fake box then yeah you are a fake box oh you little bitch yeah, supply. There we go. This should have... Something. Wow. Yeah, that does have stuff. Alright, let's try that. I build all my patrols in uh, Zeus because in Eden it makes the patrols laggy and also means the patrols are immediately under the control of uh, lambs if it's loaded, which in TSB's case it is. So I put that all ahead of time because <clears throat> I, yeah, hate dealing with that shit. All right, decent roster. Let's make sure Zeus works. What's the arm equivalent of a Memic Claymic Claymore in an empty ammo box? I'm sure someone can make a crazy little monster. Ah, right. I need to put in the special custom blah 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 settings <coughs> through my SQF files. So we go back to Eden. I tab out. I open up my missions folders. That is 399th Waco. I don't really want to do that. Desert Mission 1. Oh, that's Karek. Yeah, I need to get back to work on that too. Uh, yep, this is gonna base in a player local in its server to trace at SQF and description extension. Ah, so much stuff. Uh, yes, there are booby trap supplies that they can plant, uh, but I'm not gonna give them any because that's not the point of this. The point is uh, simple like breach and eliminate and shit. You know, kill them all. I'm actually going to get this done below two hours. Usually, uh, whenever I make something from scratch, usually it's a two-hour gig. This is going to be probably a one-hour 45. Awesome. Good pumpkin. Oh, my God. Frisk wants to make thumbnails for the other channel, too. Well, he's in luck. I'm going to give him quite a bit to work with. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm assuming... 
Oh, yeah. This is going to be so fun for them to figure out. I mean, everything's preset to 50, so it should be fine, but... <coughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's make sure all the garrisons are set properly. Is anyone running out of their position? Nope. Awesome. I could put something up there. I'm too lazy to do that, though. Let's make sure all of the factions hate each other. Real quick, uh... Yeah, three shot with, uh, 5.56, five, that should be fine. <coughs> that caused four avulsions. Yep, yep, no, nope, that's good. So yeah, tomorrow will be Taliban Opium. If I can find the time, I will also do the uh, next Asag mission for the San Agasta campaign, because I'm kind of holding on that until we can start the U.S. branch. Uh, and if I can't find the time on Monday, I'll do it Tuesday. Tuesday we'll have this mission, and then Wednesday we'll have the uh, San Agasta mission. But, yeah, no, otherwise it should be good. I can put patrols down, try to take that off, have a helicopter to also come in that the uh, player base can plink at, AT can shoot at as well. Should be a okay, and then these have uh, stuff. All right, so I need to rotate that ten. Sandbags are fine. A little bit of floating. If you notice, all the grass is cut because <coughs> I have the uh, custom strip. But yeah, no, that tent needs to be rotated slightly, so that's fine. Let me go look in the other spot. How's the dirt? Dirt's fine. You can replant it in that one then, honey. I can't hear you because I have my headset on. She's showing me the thing I was supposed to plant her bush in, and I'm like, well, should have had it next to it or something. I just planted whatever was there and assumed that was good enough. I can't hear you at all. I, I could hear you say you could totally hear me there. There was gunfire going on, boo. All right, so let's do a slight rotation of you. And then sink you partially into the ground. <coughs> yeah, that should be good. Still floating slightly, so let's uh, rotate you a little bit more. And then sink you slightly perfect uh, then these two I can go ahead and crouch you guys so you fit the uh, cover a bit better perfect all right uh, you're also floating off the ground slightly god fucking damn it just just sink it into the fucking ground Yeah, that should be good, quote unquote. Yeah, all right. All right, and that's that file done. Clocked in at 139. Not bad. All right, so that's uh, Tuesday's file done. I guess Wednesday Santa Gasta would be next here. Let me just check. What do I need? Uh, trying to get Lima site, US Santa Gasta. So yeah, US Santa Gasta would be good. Uh, no, so the missions are done through a lot of different communities I work with. Uh, if you do exclamation point discord, you'll get a link to all of them I do work for. 
uh, other than the SST community, which I'll be putting up on that Discord uh, within today or tomorrow, because that starts this weekend. While I speak, I'm going to go ahead and cycle the recording here, so... <laughs> 